Finally, last 17.2 share and with this new update, Apple actually introduced a bunch of new features and settings. So in this video, I'll focus on 10 settings and need to change after updating to 17.2. Okay, so now let's jump into the video. The first setting is going to be the notification sound. So with the, finally, with 17.2, you can actually change it. For this, you can open up your setting. After that, you're going to tap on sounds and update. After that, you can tap on the default that allowed. So, so before it is with this one right here, so it's the default one. But things with a 17.2, there's a bunch of them. But things if you call it down, you're gonna get a new option for custom one. So if you have any custom one uh, like a music, you can actually use that as well. Okay, so for the next setting, it's gonna be the keyboard. So for this, you can open up a setting. After that, you can tap on general. After that, you're gonna tap on keyboard. Then over here, you can get a show effect per line. So with this, anytime if you are typing something, it's gonna on the same line. It's gonna uh, like give you a suggestion to like what to type next. But things that's not sometimes this is actually useful and sometimes this is so useless. Uh, and then. Uh, for sometimes it's like it completely wrong. So for this, make sure you turn that off. For the next setting is going to be under Apple ID and also iCloud. But then you're going to tap on show all. After that, you're going to get a new option. It's going to be a message in iCloud. So for me, I actually have this on. So this all the messages is going to be back. It's going to back up with the iCloud. So that means all the messages, if you get a new phone or like if you lose your phone, all the all, all the messages is going to be backed up. So, so make sure you turn that on. So for the next setting is going to be through iPhone and also Apple Vision Pro. So Apple Vision Pro is going to come on next year, but things, there's a new feature on i17.2 that I need to change. So you can open up your setting. After that, you're going to tap on general. After that, you're going to tap on AirPlay and handoff. After that, you're going to get a new option right here. So I'm going to call AirPlay receiver. It does not, this is actually not necessary. So make sure you turn that off. The next setting, it's actually going to improve your battery life. For this, you can open up your setting. After that, you're going to tap on privacy and security. After that, you're going to go all the way until you find this right here. So improvement right here. After that, you're going to tap on it. After that, you're gonna go down until you find this right here, prep a location. So with this, make sure it turns this off because if you don't turn this off, it actually gonna be easier like a baby anymore. So make sure you turn that off. The next setting is gonna be under accessibility and it's gonna be with the switch control. So if you actually use the switch control, you're gonna get an option under a uh, switch mode. It's gonna be head tracking. So you can actually mm, control your phone by using head tracking. So if you actually have the switch control on, make sure you, you turn the feature on. So for the next setting, it's gonna be with this new general app. So Apple actually introduced new app with a 17.2, but things with this, you can actually lock your uh, personal journal. So for this, you can open up your setting. Then you're gonna go down and find general. After that, you're gonna get a, a log journal right here. So after that, you're gonna tap on it. After that, after that, it's gonna ask for your iPhone password. So after that, make sure you put that in. After that, you're gonna get a, a right here lock. So make sure you lock that. And after that, for the record password, you can actually do it from uh, like immediately up to like 15 minutes. So for my merchant immediately. So, so anytime if uh, someone want to open this app, they actually need to use your face ID, password, or the touch ID. For the next setting, is going to be under Apple ID. For this, you're going to get a new contact key verification. So that's not actually pretty important. So it's going to be like a verification in iMessage. So that's not actually a real importance. So make sure you turn this on. And then after that, it's going to give you all the things that is actually useful. So uh, make sure you turn this on. And then click on continue. So this is the only thing. So this is gonna give you a public verification code. That's not this is for the uh, people you actually trust uh, and not all the people. So uh, so so before you turn on this, make sure you all all your contact you, uh, you actually uh, trust the people because if you, you trust them, uh, th this is gonna be fine. Okay, so for the last setting, it's gonna be under password and as a password option, and you gonna get a new option. It's called the A uh, clean automatically. So anytime you figure like a verification call like from a, like a back or a, a app, so after so after you get the code with this turn on, it actually gonna uh, uh, remove the code. But but that's not after you actually use the code. So with this, it's gonna make your life so, so much easy. More content just like this one. Make sure you like the video and the click the subscribe and peace out.